we were racing her when we were young in the K1000 and it just wasn't a race. K1200 comes in and she's an animal. So happy for her. Well, next up, we have the final of the men's C2 500 metres. A few moments ago, we saw a fantastic performance in the women's C1 500. We've also seen some brilliant racing of the men's K2 500, but now we have another non-Olympic event, the men's C2 500 metres. Out there in lane one from Uzbekistan, that's Artur Guliev and Elia Jean Mamadaliev. They got their hats on backwards. Cool guys, ready to go, lane one. Nice. They're really going to hear their teams cheering for them. And there's Pavel Petrol and Mikhail Pavlov of Russia. As Bernie says there, on the closest to lane nine, we've got the crowds, we've got the supporters who have, who have come along to cheer the athletes on. But over on the other side of the lake, next to lane one, We've got the other teams who are all setting up in their boat sheds, getting ready for racing. Perhaps some of them have finished their racing, all lining a lot up along the bank to cheer on their teammates. So a lot of noise coming from both sides. And as Bernie said earlier on, it's just like an, an arena here, especially over the last 200 metres. Yeah, you can hear it. You can definitely hear, uh, hear your mates. <laughs> Coming up later on, we'll have the final of the women's K2 500, the men's K1 500. That will round off the racing in Duisburg today. Before we look ahead to the K2 and C2 200s tomorrow, as, long, as well as the K4 500 meter racing. We have in lane five in this men's C2 500 meter final. That's Liu Hao and Zheng Peng Fei of China. Close racing for these Chinese uh, C2s last week. They did a massive lunge and just fell in on the line. I'm not sure if they actually did get a DQ from that, but uh, they were again fighting for winning, uh, fighting for the win. And again, we've got yeah, like you say, two Chinese crews lining up, two ch crews from Uzbekistan as well, and two from Poland. Yeah, that's a great thing about World Cups is that you can actually put in double entries for each country, whereas at World Championships you can only put in a single entry. Uh, so we do have more heats and we do have more semis. Making the final at a World Cup is actually almost harder than at Worlds. Shows how much depth these countries have in canoe racing. China, as we said before, have just seemed to have put, in kayak and uh, canoe racing, just seem to have put so many athletes out. Actually, I think they're focusing really on, on canoe racing, which are the Chinese squad at the moment. Yeah, well, we knew it's cool. <laughs> Jenna, have you ever been in a canoe? I've never been in a canoe. Oh. I considered it briefly because um, it turned out that actually uh, the coaches were right. I wasn't very good at kayaking. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> perhaps I should have tried it. For but, the record, uh, she was. It looks a lot harder. It looks a, a lot, lot harder than uh, just sitting in a boat. Uh, you just get a better view. I mean, you're up a bit higher. Uh, holding that boat in that nose cone. Tension building here ahead of this men's C2 500 metre final. And the buckets are down. The paddlers are off. Really, really good start there from the Polish crew in lane four. But alongside them in lane six, that's China. The red crew who take a really, really early lead. It looks like Poland, Poland and China in those centre lanes going well. But Uzbekistan in lane one, Russia in lane two, also powering, powering forward. This is going to be an incredibly close race indeed. Yeah, the exits are so clean. Boats going straight down the line saw these guys paddling past us in the warm-up and they look incredible absolutely nothing to separate these crews as they come up towards the 250 meter mark anybody could pick up the medals here in the c2 500 meter final they're halfway now and just a slight slight lead by xing song and li chiang of china going through the 200 meter mark 
who has got the power down the last 200 meters. There's almost no chance really to have a turn of speed in this event because it's so fast and furious straight from the start. But it looks like China are turning on the power now. Yeah. Uzbekistan going with them. Second Chinese crew as well in lane five. Poland looking really good for the, for the medals as well in lane four. China, those Xing and Li have the lead. A couple of feet, that's all there is in it as they've got 50 meters to go. Still, it's with China. Poland and China, the second Chinese crew battling it out for the medals as well. Who will take the gold? China take the gold. Poland take the silver. But surely it's between Russia and China for that bronze medal. China looked to have it, but Russia had such a strong, strong finish. We're going to have to look and wait for the judge's decision to work out who picked up that third medal. Yeah, that was an unbelievably tight race yet again. And you, you can't miss the start in the C2500. You've got to put your nose out there because uh, you, otherwise you're going to get stuck in the wash, right? These boats give us some massive wash and with no rudder, it's hard to go straight. So you really got to fire up. That was a huge, huge paddle for them, for the Chinese crew. That's Xing yes. and Li in lane six. They went out hard. Alongside them, Uzbekistan's Menkov and Lipkin. They had a good start as well, but weren't able to hold on to it as they came down the field. Poland were always there and always in contention. They had a really, really consistent race as well. Yeah, the Polish crew, they, the stroke uh, looked a bit longer. The Chinese just looked so sharp. Like they really hit the water and the Polish are really grabbing it out the front. You can see uh, their arms are looking a bit higher body's turning a bit more. And the Chinese stroke, the paddle at the front of the boat, gritting his teeth. There's Poland as they dig in, biting their lips down the last stretches of the race. Good lunge there from China to cross the finish line. Who took that bronze? Ooh. Looks like It looks like Russia. I think it looks like Russia who took that bronze medal after China were definitely in contention. What a, what a close, close finish there in the men's CT500. Gold for China, Xing Song and Li Chang. Silver for Poland, Alexander Kitevsky and Norman Zezula. And bronze for Russia, that's Pavel Petrol and Mikhail Pavlov. Yeah, and again, they're just so proud. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly sure last week they went for that swim, so this time, still in the boat, and they're going to collect the gold. Congratulations, gold medal. Well done. How was the race? Oh, very happy. Uh, uh, thank you, um, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Brilliant by that Chinese pairing. And China nearly taking a second medal as well. Just beaten to the bronze medal by... There you go. There are the times. China's second.